So I am biking and I am recording myself using the uh, Sony RX0 Mark II. Uh, I am currently using my custom S-Log2 profile. The audio is actually being recorded externally using my Zoom H1n. I have a lav mic pinned to my shirt and the Zoom H1n is in my pocket. I wonder how the wind noise performance is because obviously it's pretty windy. The built-in audio for the RX-0 Mark II is probably going to be pretty windy. Not sure about the Zoom H1n audio though. Because the lav mic is a little bit hidden in my shirt. Who knows if uh, it's going to make enough of a difference. Now the Sony RX-0 Mark II is mounted on my bike's handlebars. Uh, I'd be interested in how this looks because the image stabilization isn't that great on the Sony RX-0 Mark II. So I imagine the footage is going to look pretty bumpy. The handlebar is always turning as well. So that's going to affect the the stabilization. Now it's actually pretty bright out but it is a little bit overcast so with the camera pointed up my nose and up at the sky I wonder how the image is going to look I imagine my face is going to look pretty dark but you know that's kind of why I decided to go with the S-Log2 profile hopefully that extra dynamic range will help keep my face from being crushed and the sky from being blown out hopefully it's in focus no way of knowing right now the screen is off Now in terms of the workflow for syncing up the audio, it's trivial if I edit on my computer, but you know, these days, oof. These days I avoid editing on the computer as much as possible. I mostly edit my videos now on my iPad. And in particular, I like to use this app called Velo, V-O-L-O. It's, it's a great app and it's super streamlined for making quick, simple edits. I love it. Um, but uh, I don't know that it has a easy way of replacing audio. Yeah, I kind of have to sync it up and then basically render it with the replaced audio and then edit the rendered file. Oh gosh. I just uh, redid the focus. It looks like the camera is able to find and track my face despite this angle hopefully it's able to uh, nail the focus I won't know until I revisited the footage 
All right, lap number three. I'm gonna try and get at least four laps here. Is this good content? Are you enjoying this? Is this lap three or lap four? I don't know. Well, let's go for another lap. Well, I guess I can talk about my day. What did I do today? Well, I was in the operating room today. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, this uphill. Oh, man, this is painful. Anyway, like I was saying, I was in the operating room today. I had three cases. First case was a pan endoscopy and tonsillectomy. It was a case that I probably could have used a robot for. Because uh, one of the tonsils was a radical tonsillectomy. But I just did it using conventional methods. So just a headlight and bovi cautery. My second case was a tracheotomy. It was for a prolonged intubation. And then finally, my third case, my third case was a uh, sleeve resection of the ear canal with a uh, canal plasty, temporopietal fascia graft maringoplasty canalplasty and skin graft and that was for a skin cancer of the ear I got through those cases pretty quick today so I got home somewhat early which is why I'm riding my bike today thought I'd get in some exercise before dinner time and I thought I would rig up the camera for a little bit of a, a vlog while I bike hopefully this works out because this could be another way another avenue for me to do some vlogging uh oh all right, it's my final lap here. All right, time to park the bike. Oh, my God. All right, that's it. <laughs> 